are back for week three. And we are getting set up. And you're going to be looking at our logo because, well, it'd be kind of ridiculous for you to look at nothing because there's literally nothing going on on the screen. So we are currently getting set up. It is 3.30 currently. Um, so I am communicating with the other coach. Um, and we're going to do our bands right now. We are playing Barnegat. Barnegat is the standing, defending state champions of Super Smash from the fall. I believe from the fall. I know they were Overwatch champions as well. Um, so uh, from the winter. And so they have banned currently Battlefield. Now, typically, we are an anti Hollow Bastion team. And I got a feeling that that will probably be one of our bands. And so we'll see how it goes. Um, we're getting our codes typed in. We are getting our situation settled. Uh, we are using the restroom facilities because, you know, that is a major priority when you're gaming. Uh, trying to make sure that, you know, you don't have to get up in the middle of the game and do some things. So it looks like we're getting going. So I am going to switch over and show you the arena. There we go. The arena is up and running. And so, yeah, so we're getting our bands in place, like I said. Um Let's see what we've got. Um, we are banning. So we are the away team today. And so we have banned fin uh, FD, Final Destination, and Hollow Bastion. I do not know what MHSS Superfan's anti-Hollow Bastion status is, but he is anti-Hollow Bastion. I don't know what it is. So we'll see how this goes. Um, so again, um... You know, when uh, it's set up, we are the away team. So home is bands one, away bands two, home then bands one, and then whatever's left over, <laughs> we, uh, whatever's left over is what we will play. So that is how this is going to work. So we'll see um, how this is all going to go down. Let's see. We're having some issues getting into the arena. And so we'll see how this is going to go. So we're having an internet issue, um, as always. Okay, so I'm going to put you on mute, and then I'm going to come back and try and figure out what's going on.
Good. So we'll see how this goes. We are being streamed by Garden State Esports. Choose your fighter. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Um. So yeah. So we're bringing up uh, the uh, MHSS super fan. He is back. Uh, he is hydrated and ready to go. And of course we have meme dealer, Chris Rinaldi, senior pairing. We've got Nikki Snipes and E the one. He's changed his name. Evan has switched over from E the man to E the one. The battle format has been changed. What is going on? Battle rules have been changed. I guess we set it up incorrectly. Good, everyone is loading up. We'll see how it goes. Now, typically, Superfan is playing Get Mr. Game Watch, and Meme Dealer is playing as uh, King King Rule. Oh, there we go. There's the Pac-Man. I was just about to say it. They Barnegat has a wicked Pac-Man player. He is fire. He is an outstanding player. Uh, we'll see how he plays. He was proved to be super difficult for a last time. Um, I know their Bowser Jr. is also very good, so we'll see. The Pac-Man has this amazing ability. You'll watch it. Amazing ability to get back on stage. Normally, Pac-Man players, like, you knock them too far off, and that's it. They're done. But this guy has really tried to perfect that. Go. On our way. Immediately, uh, Mid-South takes a hit right off the bat. We're gonna watch that. King K. Rule is going up against that Pac-Man. That's gonna be tough. Oh, back and forth. Now, our biggest problem in Mid-South is that we constantly are hurting each other. So let's see if we can prevent that. Oh, very nice teamwork by Barnegat. Esport, King K. Rule having a hard time. There he goes, back throw, off, got the Pac-Man again. Can he get him? Oh, couldn't get him one more time. And that's the pairing, that's the key that's right there. Uh, Mr. Game Watch already down a stock, but getting uh, King K. Rule getting ta tag team. South needs to stay away from each other because they have a tendency to injure each other more than they injure the other players. King K. Rule, oh, nope, that's a stock loss for South. This is not going well. Let's see if we can take a stock here. Excellent shot by Meme Dealer, throwing his crown, but couldn't knock Bowser Jr. far enough off for, to allow him not to get back up. Ken Kitty, there he goes. Nice try to tack him off edge. Can he get back up there? Oh, he's not going to be able to do it. Oh, he did it. Bowser Jr. gets stuck. Nope, Bowser Jr. makes it back on there. Mr. Game & Watch, let's talk about Pac-Man. Pac-Man won't even let Mr. Game & Watch back on the stage. Oh, Mr. Game & Watch is getting slammed back and forth. Come on, Sean, we can do this. This is Barnegat proving why they are the defending state champs. Oh, did Pac-Man just throw a ghost? Man, no matter what you do, you cannot kill off that Pac-Man. Mr. Game & Watch already. Right over him. There he goes. Throws him off. Nope. Couldn't, get, couldn't keep Super Pac-Man down. Oh, Mr. Game Watch down to his last stock already. It is a bloodbath out here for South. Like I said, Barnegat showing why they are the defending state champs. They just play on a totally different level. Bowser Jr. pounding on Mid-South. Mr. Game & Watch, oh, slams Bowser Jr. Pac-Man comes in, does a spin, hits him. Mr. Game & Watch trying to do his normal attacks. Can't do it, blocked by Super by Pac-Man. Bowser just comes in and just whacks Mr. Game & Watch right off the board. See, Bowser lost the stock, but my goodness, Pac-Man still, still hasn't lost the stock. Game & Watch is out. Chris is trying to keep it together, but it is not gonna happen. One stock to five, four. Oh, they finally lost this, Pac-Man finally lost his stock. 
but my goodness. Oh, missed with the crown. Bowser tried to catch him off stage. Bouncing back and forth. It is just hit, hit, hit is non-stop. You have no chance to breathe. Oh, he got another stock off of Bowser Jr. That what a shot by Rinaldi. Nope, but that's it. That's going to be game. Pac-Man off the screen takes out Mr. Uh, King K. Rule. That was intense. Um, that was a beatdown. So we'll see what the team is going to be doing. I'm going to open up the screen to recoup. Let's see how they're going to do it. Sean does not respond well to loss like that. So we'll see. Hold on. Let's see what we're going on. I have to talk with the team, so I'm going to mute and I'm going to come back in. technical issues and it turns out the terrible play from Mr. Superfan turns out his controller was set up for the wrong set of controls. So he's hitting one thing and something wrong and something different is happening. That explains a lot because he is normally a much better player than what he was showing, but it explains why he just nothing good was happening for him out there. So he is reprogramming his controller trying to get things lined up for himself um, so that he can actually play well. So, okay, super, super fan is in. He's playing on my personal device. That's why it's 1BAJ. So we'll see how it goes. He is selecting his character. Mid-South, obviously, Chris is going to play again as King K. Rule. Now, what I told the team was, if we're getting blown out, let's get some other people in. So, Barnegat has banned Battlefield and Yoshi Story. So again, three new stages come in. We're gonna get Yoshi Story, Kalos, and Town and City are options now. Pokemon Stadium 2 is out, we just played that. We are gonna play Smashville. So, winner of the last of the game plays bans two. Loser chooses from the remaining unplayed and unbanned stages. So we're playing Smashville. You know, sometimes I wonder, oh, that is, oh, that's right. This is the one with the moving platforms. So this is very interesting here because keep, different players have different ways of playing when it comes to platforms. So you'll see this play, this platform will, will move around a little bit for Smash Mail. It's also a very small platform. So it depends. you got to really be careful that you're not bouncing into your own teammate and then hurting the team. So let's see how it goes. Mr. Gaming Watch playing much better than he did previously. He was out of stock, I think, at this point. Who just lost? Oh, Bowser Jr. already dead. Oh, but Game & Watch already dead. So those two going at it. Oh, and King K. Rule's already out of stock. My goodness. But there it is, the Pac-Man still sitting at 55%. Somehow he manages to, to avoid most of the damage. Somehow King K. Rule already taken down. So three players already down a stock. But uh, that Pac-Man player, my goodness does not give you an inch. Look at this, dropping fire fire hydrants off stage. Excellent block, throw back from it. Tries the cannon, doesn't work. Oh, got him down, killed Pac-Man. That's it, everyone's at two stocks. Wow, this is a much different game now that uh, now that Superfan has his controllers where it's supposed to be. So, here we go. King K. Rule back on. Who lost? Bowser lost a stock. Wow, this is a much different game really taking it to Barnegat differently than they did last time. This is a much closer match than the last time. King K. Rule punching the fire hydrant for some reason, but totally misses Pac-Man. Pac-Man blasts him across the stage. Uh, Bowser took out King K. Rule. Game & Watch still has one more character, one more, an extra stock. Gets blasted away, 134%. He's not gonna last much longer. But here's Pac-Man. Oh, Pac-Man just hit Bowser. Oh, that's it for Game & Watch. He's down to one stock. King K. Rule takes a shot, hits Bowser. Really need to focus on that Pac-Man. That Pac-Man's gonna be the problem here. Oh, that's it. Game & Watch got slammed down below and got stuck off platform. Oh, that's so, that's rough. That's gonna hurt South a lot. See if Meme Dealer can hold out. He just doesn't have, King K. Rule just doesn't have the speed for this kind of thing. Blasts, blasts Bowser, Bowser's gone. Oh, this is very interesting. This is a much different game. Can Meme Dealer take another one 
from pa Pac-Man. I don't know. This Pac-Man is a really good player. Oh, there he goes. Oh, it's one stock to one stock, but King K rules at 95%. Oh, this is a big... Oh, man, if only we had a Sprout right now to, in to improve. That was excellent block by Meme Dealer. Gets his crown back. Protection. Drops the Fire Hydrant, but misses. Fire Hydrant. Nice. Takes out the Fire Hydrant. Oh, gets blasted by a Ghost or a Pellet. Meme Dealer getting back on stage. Pac-Man coming at him. Hits him off stage. Pac-Man just holding on, throwing goblets? What was that, a piece of corn? What was that thing? Oh, back toss off the stage, tries the crown, misses, Pac-Man up in the air, drops a fire engine, look out for that fire engine blast. Meme Dealer missed with his belly drop. Oh, big drop from Pac-Man. Meme Dealer's getting slammed left and right. Excellent bounce back, way to protect. Throws the fire hydrant at Pac-Man, didn't work. Oh, gets hit by the glowing pellet, but he's still in the game. Look out for that fire. Excellent, blast the fire hydrant and Pac-Man off, but you can't, can't knock Pac-Man off. Pac-Man is not gonna get stuck off stage, no way. Oh, gets hit by the bouncing fire hydrant. Oh, that's so terrible. That was such a close match. Man, was that a different match from game one. Holy moly. Wow, that was uh, on such a tight platform. That was outstanding. Outstanding play by everyone. I think if, I think if Mr. Game & Watch had been able to hold on just a little bit longer, I think that match could have gone in a much different direction. Bowser got knocked out early. Uh, we're already at state banning. So again, Smashville out, Pokemon Stadium 2 out. They have banned Battlefield and Yoshi's Story again. So clearly, there's clear preferences amongst the teams about what is an acceptable stage to play. So clearly, Barnegat, not a fan of Battlefield, not a fan of Yoshi's Story. We are not a fan of Hollow Bastion, I know that. I wouldn't be surprised if you see an FD. Yep, there it is. That's exactly the game I was going to play, stage I was going to suggest. I'm looking at a Google Doc, and that Google Doc is saying that we are picking... Final Destination. So, Final FD it is. So, one BAJ is in. That is Superman. He's got really makeup, but I think they figured out the secret to the Bowser. So, if they can figure out the secret to the Bowser and get Bowser Jr. out early, there might be a chance for them to take out... There might be a chance for them to take out that Pac-Man and possibly put, pull off a one game. Now, I'm not saying we're gonna win any, win this whole thing, but to make it go to round four, to give us a chance to get to one, to three and one is huge, huge. Because that will change, you know, like every game you win or lose makes a difference in the overall match. I'm sorry, your overall standings for at the end of the season. So I'm not sure what's going on. We've got things going back and forth. King Bowser's here. GSE is broadcasting. Um, we're just we're just moving things back and forth. So let me, there we go. Finally figured it out. Barnegat finally moved out. So again, the way Smash works is if you um, in the order you come in determines who your partner is. So. One and two are opponents. Three and so one and three are partners. Two and four are partners. So you just have to flip flop who comes into the match each time. So one time it's us first. One time it's them first. Doesn't really matter in the end. So like as long as your partner is your partner, that's all that matters. So we'll see how it happens. Oh, there we go. Crown cr teaming up on Bowser on Bowser Jr. Oh, Pac-Man will not let. But there he goes, gets back on stage. Game & Watch, gotta nail that Pac-Man. Oh, Pac-Man just doesn't let you go. You just really have to avoid. Hits the Bowser. Drops the bomb. My throat's getting itchy. I gotta take a sip. Rinaldi is all about jumping back towards that platform and tossing his crown, but he keeps bouncing the crown off the edge of the platform. Not working well for him. Game Watch is down in stock. Mid South is down a stock each. That's not good. Game Watch has pounded Bowser. Bowser got flying on the platform, but he's still on. 
at 136%, he is going to lose soon. Got to get that Pac-Man. Man, Man. got to try and get a stock from that Pac-Man early. Oh, got the Bowser again. There we go. Up punch from, from King K. Rule. Got to get rid of that. Oh, Bowser's out. South cannot lose another stock before. Oh, tries a downward kick onto Pac-Man, but Pac-Man. Oh, drop the fire hydrant on him. Get out of there, Pete. Oh, Meme Dealer and uh, Game & Watch have both lost a stock. Game & Watch bounced his own player. Excellent block. Tries for the punch, misses. Oh, Bowser's lost another stock. Bowser is down too. Pac-Man's got the stock. Gotta get that, oh man, that Pac-Man. They just, they're just relentless. They just will not give you a chance. And I think, like I've said before, that is the difference between a good player and a great player, is they are relentless. Oh, takes him to the cannon and fires him off. Game & Watch smashes Bowser. Bowser's at 54%. Game & Watch and Bowser going head-to-head. -to -head. Meme Dealer is just trying to get that Pac-Man. Ah, oh, Game & Watch is down again, and he can't steal a stock. So again, Meme Dealer has to go one-on-one, one-on-two. There's no way he's going to be able to do this without 110%. Oh, even if he takes out one, he's still at 110%. Nope, that's it. They they totally recouped and came back as two totally different players. That was a fast game three. Were they toying with us? What was that? So, okay. Good GG's all the way around. Thank you, everybody. We will be back next week, and then we're taking two weeks off for spring break. But come check us out. March 27th, we will be back for week four. So have a great afternoon, everyone. Thank you for those people who checked us out. Love you. Have a great night.